Jessica is a teenage girl and her mother is trying to convince her that she should buy new clothes for high school. But Jessica says she is going there only to study and not care about dresses and fashion. Then, her mother sends a message to her older daughter Bethany, who is studying at the college, and tells her that Jessica needs her help. After that, Bethany arrives and sits with Jessica. She gives Jessica a piece of paper with some rules for school that will help her to be beautiful and popular with her friends. The first rule is to wear different and new clothes every day, meaning that she can't wear the same clothes twice in a row. The second one is to join the school cheerleading team. And the third rule is to choose her first boyfriend wisely. Bethany then says the last rule is to join the most famous group in the school. She tells Jessica that if she does that, she'll spend the best years. But if she doesn't follow these rules, she will regret. After that, Jessica meets her friend Bridget. She doesn't know what to wear at school, and feels worried because they will be alone, as they don't have any other friends from their old school. But Jessica reassures her that they'll always be together. The next day, Jessica wakes up, and starts to get ready for her first day of school. She stands before the closet, but she doesn't know what to wear. Jessica can't choose, so, she wears normal and traditional clothes. Then, she ties her hair. But when her mother sees her, she doesn't like what she wears, and tries to convince her to change her clothes and her hair. Meanwhile, her friend Bridget arrives, and they are all surprised by her look and elegance, as she is wearing a dress. Jessica is impressed by her look, and tells her that she should be a fashion model. Before they go to school, Jessica's father takes a picture of them together, and the two girls are afraid not to sit next to each other in class. When they get on the school bus, the boys keep flirting with Bridget. One of them called Burke wants to get to know her, and asks her to sit next to him. But Bridget agrees and sits with him, leaving Jessica alone. When Jessica arrives, she appears nervous and can't choose a place to sit, and feels shy because she doesn't know any of the students. So, her teacher helps her. Then, Jessica gets to know Sarah, and she keeps talking all the time about her family's name because they are famous and have well-known ice cream shops. Also, she gets to know a girl named Hope and knows that they will be with her in the class of excellent students. But Jessica feels that they aren't like her. However, she tries to get along with them. And when it is lunchtime, she goes to sit with them. Then, they see Bridget coming from far away with many boys. They are impressed by Bridget and want to get to know her. Meanwhile, Jessica tells them that Bridget is her friend, who she told them about. But they try to sit with Bridget because they think she is popular in school. And they ignore Jessica. They all choose the cooking section to be together. But on the other hand, Jessica is surprised to find herself in the engineering and science section alone. She goes to convince her teacher that her name is added by mistake. And she wants to move to the cooking section to be with her friends. But he convinces her to stay with them and tells her that there is no space left in the other section already. After the end of the school day, Jessica meets Bridget. She tells Jessica about what happened in the cooking section, and she is happy with her new friends, but gets upset when she knows that Jessica will remain in her section and that they can't attend any classes together. So, Jessica tells her that they'll sit together on the school bus when they come and go to school. But Burke comes and asks Bridget to sit next to him on the school bus. Bridget goes with him, leaving Jessica alone again. When Jessica returns home, her mother asks her about what happened on her first day of school. She seems upset. Meantime, her sister comes and is surprised by the clothes Jessica is wearing. Bethany tells her that these are the clothes that she used to wear while cleaning the cars, and she should not wear them at school or parties. Then, she takes Jessica to her room, and shows her a photo album of her childhood, with all the clothes she used to wear to school, until she grew up and entered the university. Bethany tells her that during all these years, she didn't go to school wearing the same clothes twice. She then starts encouraging Jessica to take care of herself and follow all the rules she talked about. The next day, Jessica is getting ready to go to school, but when she opens her closet, she doesn't find suitable clothes to be as beautiful as her friends. So, Jessica regrets that she didn't buy new clothes as her mother said, and she feels sad because she didn't care about that. But her mother surprises her and gives Jessica new clothes that she bought for her, and tells Jessica that she knows she'll need them someday. Jessica feels happy and thanks her mother, then wears a dress from them. Now, she achieves the first rule, which is wearing new clothes. When Bridget sees her, she admires her and is impressed with her dress. 
She tells Jessica that she looks so beautiful in those clothes, and is more suitable for high school. And they agree that they'll join the cheerleading team to be together. Jessica begins to get along with her teacher, and her friends in science class. And they make pranks on the teacher and make fun of him. Then, she goes with Bridget to join the cheerleading team. But she feels shy and afraid, because she can't imitate their movements. So, she wants to give up and leave the team. Meanwhile, Sarah and a girl named Manda arrive late for training. So, Coach Garcia prevents them from participating, and kicks them out of the hall because of their negligence. When the coach sees Bridget, she thinks that she is Bethany's sister, who was one of the popular students in the school. But Bridget tells her that she isn't her sister, and that her sister is Jessica. The coach then asks Jessica to perform some movements, because she thinks Jessica is as good as her sister Bethany. Jessica gathers her strength, and tries to perform the movements. But she flips over and falls to the ground. After that, Jessica tells the coach that she wants to quit the team and leave them. When Jessica goes home, she sees Bethany there, and tells Jessica that Garcia called her, and asked her to let Jessica go to her before training to help her. But she doesn't tell any of her friends. The next day, Jessica goes to school, and then goes to the coach. But she tells Jessica she will dress up like a falcon, so that no one will recognize her. And Jessica cheers up and agrees. Actually, Jessica follows the second rule, which is joining the cheerleading team. Meanwhile, the result of the training appears. And Bridget is happy, because she is accepted to join the team. But Sarah and Manda are sad because they didn't join the team. Then, Bridget tells Jessica that she won't be able to sit with her while they eat, because she'll sit with her cheerleading friends. But Jessica doesn't show any emotions in front of her, and doesn't tell her that she joined the team too. After Jessica finishes her lessons, she goes to Garcia's without anyone seeing her. When it is time to present the first show, Bridget's team enters. At the same time, Jessica enters while dressing up like a falcon and dancing with them. But suddenly, Jessica feels suffocated and can't breathe. So, she runs to the coach to get help. But she loses consciousness and falls to the ground. Then, Garcia takes her to the training room, and makes her change her clothes, so that no one will recognize her. When Jessica comes out of the room, she sees Bridget's friend Burke. But he knows that she played the role of the falcon, when he sees a feather stuck in her hair, and walks away. After a while, Jessica meets her friends. But they are surprised that she has disappeared, and didn't watch the show. So, she tells them that she felt a stomachache and she went to the nurse. They keep telling her about what happened, and that the Falcon was great, better than Bridget and her friends. Bridget comes to stand with them, and she feels upset. Meanwhile, all the students in the school start talking about the Falcon, and the shows he did, because they don't know who is behind it. But Jessica is surprised that Burke keeps the secret, and doesn't tell anyone that she is the Falcon. After that, Bridget is doubting Jessica because she doesn't come to encourage her in the shows. And every time she makes excuses about something, in order not to go to them. Then, she asks Jessica if she was hiding something. But Jessica denies it and says that she doesn't hide anything. Before the new show comes, Jessica tells her friends that her aunt is outside. And she will go there to welcome her. Then, she leaves them and goes to the coach. Jessica tries to convince her not to continue because she can't lie to her friends anymore. But the coach says that she is talented, and should continue. The show begins, and Jessica dresses up as a falcon and goes out. But this time, she decides to give Bridget and her team a chance to show their abilities. But suddenly, Jessica discovers that a bee entered the falcon's clothing, and she becomes very afraid of it. She can't perform the show, even she keeps hitting all her friends until she falls to the ground. At this time, the first one to run to check on her is Burke. Bridget is surprised by this, and goes to take off the Falcon's head, to find out who is performing the show. So, Garcia runs towards her to stop them. But it is too late, and Bridget already knows that the Falcon is Jessica. She is shocked that Jessica lied to her all this time, and that Jessica made her believe that she didn't want to be on the cheerleading team. Also, she thinks Jessica has a crush on Burke, because when he knew the truth, he wasn't surprised. From this moment, she decides to stay away from Jessica, because she lied to her and deceived her. Jessica tries to apologize to Bridget, 
but she doesn't accept her apology and leaves. Jessica apologizes to the rest of her friends as well, but finds that Manda and Sarah don't care that she lies to them, and are even happy with what happened. On the other hand, Hope is sad because Jessica didn't tell her the truth. Meanwhile, Jessica believes that the rules which her sister told her about, are the reason behind everything she goes through, and that she lost her only friend. So, Jessica decides to leave the cheerleading team, and tells her parents about her decision. She tells them that she feels comfortable now, and doesn't want anyone to force her, to do things that she doesn't want. The next day, Jessica goes to school, and finds that all the students look at her, and are impressed by her. Even some of them ask her to take a photo with her. Jessica feels that she becomes famous, because she does what her sister Bethany's told. Sarah and Manda meet her, and try to convince her to go with them to the school's dance party. They then give her the invitation, and Jessica agrees. After that, Jessica goes to ask Hope to come with them. But she refuses and says that she has more important things than that. And it seems she is still upset with Jessica because of her lying to her. After school, Jessica goes to the clinic, and tells the nurse that she isn't feeling well, because of what happened to her. Jessica feels that she is a bad girl, and thinks of leaving school, and moving to another school, but the nurse convinces her that after a while, her friends will forget, and everything will return to normal as before. The nurse tells Jessica that she isn't only a nurse, but also a coach for the school's running club, and says that Jessica has a talent for running. So, she offers Jessica to try something else, and to join them in the running club. When Jessica goes home, she thinks about the nurse's words. And then, she asks her mother to go with her to buy running shoes. The next day, Jessica goes to school and attends her first day of training in the running team. The coach is impressed by her level, and tells Jessica that she is clever and special. After that, Burke sees Jessica and invites her to go to the party with him. But Jessica is scared and refuses without thinking, then says she doesn't know him as they aren't friends, and he'd better go ask Bridget to go with him. After that, she goes to her class, and reconciles with Hope. She says that she is no longer angry with Jessica, and knows that Coach Garcia is the one who asked Jessica not to tell anyone. Then, they are back to being friends again. Days later, the dance party comes, and Jessica gets ready for it. But suddenly, her sister Bethany comes home. Her parents are surprised that she leaves college and returns at this time. But her father realizes that she always comes home at the same time, to hide the parcel post. And from that, they know that she had been failing her exams for six months. He then says that he will punish her and will not give her money, until she improves her grades. Jessica is shocked and realizes that her sister didn't come home to help her, but to hide the parcel post. Bethany says sorry to her, and says she made these rules because she hoped to have a good time with her friends at school, and make a happy memory for her. But Jessica discovers that she is right, and this list of rules is a stupid idea. After that, Jessica leaves and goes to the party. She meets Bridget and apologizes to her, telling her that she wants to be friends again. Bridget accepts her apology, and she goes to sit with herself. Now, Jessica feels better, because she is doing things that make her happy. She then takes the list of the rules, but crosses out all the rules in it, and writes only one rule, follow your own path, not someone else's. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.